Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Now, tonight we have a video, we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff, uh, Black Friday preparations really, and yeah, we have a ton of new stuff to go over tonight. We've got the official new Foot Champs rewards, I'll give my opinion on that, and then we'll kind of go through and we'll talk about a lot of the packs that are coming very soon to FIFA. It's going to be a pretty crazy next five days in my estimation, so get ready. And uh, yeah, so tonight's video, guys, going to be going through all what we just mentioned and uh, another crazy day of the World Cup. And we actually got some content on FIFA today. Now, unfortunately, I did not get the best player from my hero pack, but hopefully you guys got something. We got a hero pack for 86 rated only. I felt like it was Christmas because EA, you know, releasing that in another year, it probably would have been like 700k. So we've really been getting a lot of very nice priced SPCs this year, and I do have to show my respect when EA is giving us good prices for these SBCs. And uh, yeah, so let's get right into it. So first of all, um, we got the hero pack today. That's the first thing. Second thing, I'm going to have like seven things we're going to talk about is the foot champs uh, rewards change. Obviously, you guys know that foot champs rewards have been updated, guys, and, and that's the reality. So foot champs rewards are different now. Uh, basically, the qualifying rewards are all going to be the exact same, but it looks like now, until the end of uh, the game cycle, they're, sorry, season cycle, not game cycle, so I think until, like, the World Cup ends or January, we are going to have different player picks, different tradable picks. My hope is this, that EA continue to upgrade and update these every season. I hope that we don't keep getting, like, the same old team of the week rewards after this now i've seen a lot of people say they don't like these new rewards i'm going to explain why i think they're better than the last one um but still not good enough but i i'm always down for ea to change stuff like when it's the same thing every year and every month it's just so boring so now it's a one of 284 plus uh you know obviously for rank 10 but the player picks are one of 284 plus um, that's for rank 8. I think most people are kind of at least getting rank 7 or rank 6. So this is going to be a 1 of 384 plus. You'll get two of these. Um, I'm not sure if this is tradable or not. I assume this is going to be untradable because the reds are untradable. I'm going to explain why I like this more. Because I think you have a higher chance of getting a relevant promo card uh, or fodder. I think 1 of 384 plus is, you know, yes, there's a lot of those with 384s, but I think you've got a decent chance to get, like, a walkout, whereas when I do, when we do the normal reds, it's just so bad. Like, you're lucky to get an 86. When I got Tony Cruz this week, I was genuinely lucky to get this pull, uh, and he's a 90. And then we've also got one 583 player pack. So this is probably worse in the eyes of many than a Team of the Week pack because a Team of the Week pack is minimum 30K, a lot of the time, it's 30 to 50. You get very lucky to get the best card in Team of the Week. The problem is the Team of the Week is just so dead, and we've got so many players below 80. So I don't actually mind this, because while I think that the worst pack here is 583s, and you'll make 5K if you're lucky, I get that. You don't get that baseline 30K anymore. I like it for the fact that you still play champs and get guaranteed coins, and that this pack can give you the chance of something crazy. Like, the ceiling on this pack is a lot crazier. It really is. You can get any promo card. Um, you know, if it's rare gold players, I don't know if that's going to include icons, but I'd assume that we're going to have this new promo coming out on Friday. We're also going to have the World Cup icons. So if they treat the World Cup icons kind of like how the Marvel heroes are, you'll have a chance of getting those in these. I just like it a bit more. That's my personal opinion. I think that the ceiling on these is nice. Like, it makes me more excited that I can look forward to this Yes, it could be horrible and way worse. I could make 25k less on average, but in in another way, I think it's nice that you know you can actually have that hope of like maybe getting a promo card. You eliminate so many cards in the game with a with an 83 plus minimum and then five of them. So we'll see. We'll see how that pans out. Obviously, I think for me, like overall with these rewards, I think that the the player picks are going to be better 100%. I really believe that. I think that again, these are going to be worse on average. But you are going to actually have a realistic feeling of being able to get somebody good. What I will say right now is everyone that plays foot champs knows they are not getting the top card in the team of the week. You never saw Mbappe. You never saw Neymar, Mane, Salah. These cards are not packable. So, you know, when you look at team of the week, you don't get excited. So for me, I mean, for me, it's just a different feeling. I'm not saying I'm excited for this pack and I'm not defending it from EA. Like, yeah, it probably should be 84 plus, but it's at least better in my eyes that you've got a really like 
okay chance at maybe getting something out of here. Um, I don't know. In 87s, I think the going rate for those is like like 20k, 21k. I think um, 86s are like 15. So that shouldn't be too hard to get out of that pack. And uh, yeah, for me, like if you get an 88 out of that, um, you're already going to make more with that one player alone than a whole team of the week pack. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it pans out. And then obviously, as you go a little bit further, you get one of four um, 84 plus. You'll get three of these um, as you get a little bit further. And then as you get I think the most is still one of four, so they didn't make it one of five. It's going to be one of four, 84 plus, but I think that's nice. Like, when we do the Twitch Prime Packs, I'll give you guys an example. In the Twitch Prime Packs, it's a one of four, I think it's an 81 plus, and for the most part, a lot of people get, like, 84 to 86s, and that's 81 plus. So, with this being 84 plus, I'm really interested in these. I think this is going to be awesome. I think most people will be getting walkouts per player pick, which is decent. You'll take it over these red team of the weeks. And, obviously, I think you've got a higher chance at a promo card. That's how I look at this, right? EA's not made a change where they said, okay, we're going to give you promo cards. But they made a change where I think you've got a better chance at getting players than team of the weeks that no one uses or cares about. So, I look at it that way. It makes me more excited. What I'm not loving is that, you know, for example... I think there needs to be more of these 83 uh, plus times five. So I'll give you like my take here is that, um, you know, for, for for rank four, the fact that you still, yes, you get the three 84 pluses, but you only get one of these is kind of crazy. Like, I think you should start to get two. I would have liked to see EA like put more of those because at the moment, like the effort for getting uh, rank four is just not really worth it um, because you get the same amount of player picks. So rank five looks really like an OP stopping point. Rank three uh, gives you the extra pack, which is going to be worth it. Now rank three is, rank one is 19, rank two is 18. So rank three is 16. So 16, if you're a good player, looks like a good spot because you'll get an extra one of these. But again, for me, the best reward here is the player picks. This is where you're going to probably have the highest chance. I know that this is 583, but you, you're going to get rid of a whole you know, 83 rated, which is a lot of players, and it will be one less, I guess you could say, like, player in the selection, but, and then let's see what rank two is. Is rank two any different? No, rank two, so rank two for me is not worth it, right? They have not done well here, because I think they still have this problem where getting rank one and rank two just isn't worth it. I guess for rank one, you get that third player, so it's really rank one or rank three. Rank two is just you know, it's not really worth it, but yeah, I think it's an okay change. I think it's a step in the right direction, and you know what? I try to stay positive. It's not the best, let's be realistic, but it's different. So I think for that perspective, if it's different, you know, I think it's it's interesting, right? So let's see how it goes. We'll see how it is this weekend. Um, that's a huge change with Foot Champs Rewards. Massive, massive change. Now, other than that, as predicted, best of team of the week is coming. This will be out tomorrow. So Thursday, this is going to start. Um, I'm probably not going to stream, but we'll have some videos up on YouTube. I expect a lot of these cards to be panic sold into uh, this release. 100 percent i think they're going to be going down 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 i think when the best of team of the week releases they'll go down for like 20 30 minutes and then go up like crazy and then go down overnight that's my prediction we'll see if it happens that's usually the trend when people start panic selling cards and uh we'll get on the market we'll look at some prices i do remember some team of the week prices from this week so we'll take a look this is not going to be like for example i've invested in darwin nunez uh nuno mensch right it's not going to be those players it's going to be like mbappe um Neymar this is going to be the top tier team of the weeks they're going to put in packs they will put in as always some fodder players I mean last year I think we had Jesus Navas um so they will do that but don't expect this to be low tier team of the weeks this is going to be top tier team of the weeks um we've got a ton of new pack codes like a ton crazy amount so a lot of packs being added a lot of these will be flash SBCs uh daily 1 p.m content releases um, we've got an 85 times 2 pack. We've got an 81 times 15. That's interesting. We've not had that one ever before. The closest thing we've really had to that is the 8111 or the 8220. So four more players than the 8111. Could be interesting. The 8111 is kind of mid. So this will be interesting. We've got an 85 star, star player pack. That will be a promo pack with coins or FIFA points. It always is every year. You've got a Black Friday Foundations pack. I expect this to come out on Friday. Usually these like seasonal um, packs are Friday releases. Um, usually we'll see. Contains one World Cup swap token. Okay, that's a big deal. Now, foundations packs usually are either like 30, 50, or 125K. So it should be one of those prices. Let's see what's in the pack. You get a team of the week player from one to nine, 83 
overall or higher. You get 12 rare gold players. You get a lone icon player pick uh, between three players. And you get a couple more loans. I think this one would probably be 50k if I'm going to take a guess. But maybe it's going to be 125 because of that 83 overall minimum maybe it's gonna i don't see it being 125 that's too expensive but that's a cool pack there's an extra token in there which is great you've got the world cup foundations pack 15 rare gold players from brazil netherlands argentina france or england you get a token uh one fifa world cup icon loan player pick and then a, and a hero player pick um that one might be the 125k i know it doesn't have the team of the week but that one might have the tax of the nationality specific and then the, the icon load, maybe. 83.15, that's kind of interesting. Um, I think the last time we had that, something like that, was the 83.25, which I don't think we've had yet this year. We had the 84.20 uh, so far. The 86 star player pack, again, that is a promo pack. The 84 star player pack, that is also a promo pack. So those are going to be in the store. Nothing too crazy there. Season 1 review pack, that is not a new pack. Maybe they're going to put it back in the store. We already had that. Um, that is something that we do have a video on on this channel with the Season 1 player packs. A Foot Hero Guarantee contains one guaranteed Foot Hero, uh, Foot 23 Hero player, five Rare Gold players, and five FIFA World Cup player picks. Um, that is going to be a store pack, and I, I think that's an interesting one. You get a guaranteed hero. Now, the interesting thing with that is that we had a Foot Hero pack released in the store previously where EA messed up for 25k or i think it was 500 fifa points that's good that one's gonna be really interesting i'm watching that one because we got to see what they're gonna re-release it at and what they're gonna charge for that right the spc today wasn't super expensive for a marvel hero i'm assuming for a foot 23 hero player that would include potentially all heroes but not 100 percent certain and what i mean by that is that is it going to be the heroes and the marvel heroes i, I would assume so but maybe it has to be specified a jumbo ultimate pack Contains 40 rare gold players. 40! That's pretty crazy. 40 players and 10 World Cup player picks. Oh, man. I feel the market crashing. We got to talk about the market in this video, too, because, oh, boy, I think it's going to be ugly with some of these store packs. Um, and we'll talk through that in a bit. But some of these packs, I can't even lie, are getting me excited, man. These are cool. These are new. I always like new packs and new content. Black Friday pack. A Centurion pack. 100 rare gold players and 10 player picks. 100 rare gold players. Now, this pack, I'm an idiot, by the way. It says all items are untradeable, okay? So I did not see that previously. I'm sorry to tell you guys this. And actually, the star player packs, all items are also untradeable, okay? Which is interesting. But, yes, the Foot Hero Guarantee untradeable, which means it should be cheaper. I would actually be surprised. Maybe it's the directly same pack that was previously released and they'll do it at 25k again. And I say that because most of the base foot heroes, if this is just going to be base foot hero specific, are very cheap now because of the Marvel heroes. A lot of the Marvel heroes have dropped the prices of the foot heroes. So maybe it's just going to be re-released again. I don't know. Um, this pack is crazy. 100 rare gold players untradeable. I mean, this is going to be one of the greatest... FIFA We've never seen a FIFA pack like this ever. We've never seen more than, I think, 30 items in a FIFA pack. 100 rare gold players in one pack like that is crazy and like you could argue like okay that's like three ultimate packs combined i guess i think ultimate packs have 30 players plus 10 players but that's not really how the odds work and so like i feel like a 100 rare gold player pack is going to have some crazy cards in it i mean i think that's going to be crazy i think you're going to see some people getting like 20 specials out of that pack which is just crazy. You know, those are the types of packs that if you see like 10 to 15 specials at the end of the year in the summer, you're going crazy. You're like, oh my God, that's nuts, right? Like that's a that's the culture with FIFA towards the end of the year. It's these crazy like summer promos that we have and everybody's packing all these special cards. But 100 rare gold players, like that is nuts. And that's not all. You've also got a Black Friday 10 coin pack. I don't know what that is. It contains three rare gold players in addition to one player pick. Maybe it's going to be 10 coins. Maybe that, I, I like, I don't know. Maybe it's going to be 10 coins because it says it's going to be 10 coins, right? It's probably 10 coins. I don't know. 10 coins, though, for three rare gold players. I think that's what it's going to be, and it, they're all untradeable. So I think it is going to be a 10-coin pack. So very interesting one there from EA. I mean, that's, that's very funny. And then, obviously, best of team of the week. So, you know, the one thing you could say looking at all these packs as well, all of them say they're untradeable, right? Except, like, a couple. I think the 85, like, the 85-2, yeah, this one was not untradeable, right? But here's what I will say, okay? Here's what I will say. So today, obviously, like, 
we got this hero pack and like you're seeing some trends where like Ronaldo uh, you know went down to like 100k during this pack and he went back up to 120 right so he's rebounded people rebought him now he's dropping again so you had a profit opportunity there so here's what I'm thinking when a lot of these packs comes out people are gonna want to do them and yes they're untradeable they're not gonna bring a ton of supply to the market I still believe that with some of these packs like for example the one with the 100 rare players people are going to be very inclined to going and selling players to buy that pack. Now, whether that pack is 100K, 150K, 200K, today is a good example, in my opinion, right, of people selling stuff to do a pack, right, when it's really interesting. And I think the FIFA community now is just doing that. This is like, what this is what people do in the FIFA community. Like, we, we do these packs, people take risks. People these days in the community are a lot less um, conservative with their coins. A lot of people just sending it on fifa i'm serious i see it right and it's a great thing i think it's awesome like take a risk it's you know it's fifa um but i think this is going to have some imp impact on the market right today's is 158k and we've seen a lot of cards yes they went down a lot and rebounded a bit but they're still down overall right like ronaldo 140 this morning still is down right yes he was down 40k the worry for me heading into this promo is this the amount of content right like i do think you're gonna have these scenarios where we we made a video the other day where we were looking at mbappe's price and Mbappe was like 1.8, right? And now you're going to probably see him dropping a lot, right? And he's actually not even dropping. He's 188. But you're going to see some people starting to sell up on some Team of the Weeks. I think 100% as we head into Best Of because they're going to get some supply. Um, but we're going to just constantly, I think, have these trends. And that's why, like, I think if you're going to want to be in this market, uh, you are going to probably uh, need to just be a trader. Like, I think you're going to need to be a trader. I don't think you can be an investor in this market because with the amount of content that is going to continuously come, people just forget that, like, it's every half hour, an hour, we're getting, like, you know, a tradable SBC, an untradable SBC. It's so much going on. It's so much stuff in the store. And last year was crazy, which means that, you know, obviously everything this year is even crazier like pack and content wise than it was last year so i'm expecting this promo to be even crazier than last year especially with the added codes that we can see Mane was 200k so he's already down to 175 like i think you're going to see scenarios where Mane heading into this tomorrow is like 140 it then goes back up to like 180 or 170 because people are waiting to buy him and then he's going to go down again whenever we get some sort of spc like that 85 2 pack that said it wasn't untradeable right i think that's going to be a flash spc that comes out they add it to the code. I think it's going to be a flash SBC. I really do. I think it's going to be tradable. And I think like that type of pack, everyone's going to do. That's when you're going to see some of the tradable supply in the market. And then I, again, like I think you're going to have other scenarios where you'll have like a store pack, like we mentioned, or, you know, one of those like foundations packs going into the store where people sell off players. So I think heading into this promo, it's really important that like you want to be liquid and you want to be in, in into looking at the drops and rises in this market you want to be like ready to go where if you see something like okay Ronaldo's down like this much I'm gonna wait till he's at this price I'm gonna buy him but I think it's about these quick flips I think that's gonna be your best friend this weekend and I think if you do have some coins this is gonna be a really good weekend for you to make some coins the one thing overall is saying I will say is that if you you know enjoy taking some risks on FIFA and stuff like that I think your account this this uh this weekend is going to take a hit right with all of these insane insane um, like just releases we've had generally uh, with these uh, pack codes, I think it's going to be really hard to steer clear a lot of these SPCs and doing a lot of these. So for me, I, I look at it in that regard and I'm like, okay, this could be a really, really crazy weekend on FIFA. Um, tomorrow, I, I think what's really interesting is that tomorrow, um, the Path to Glories are going to go out of packs. For me, I'm not like super invested in Path to Glories. Um, I, I picked up some of the cheaper ones because of, looking at like what's been happening right so like uh today we had a spike um with ito when uh japan beat germany today and uh yeah he's like i think back down a lot again i don't know what he's exactly at for price he's back at 50k but like he was 42k min and then when he actually when they when japan beat germany he spiked up to 82k i saw it so i think that a lot of these path to glories like if you're a person that wants to invest are really safe um tunisia had a draw i think already um iran you know maybe if they get a win he's gonna double i'm thinking al dasari like i feel like if saudi arabia wins again he's gonna go to like 60k and what i just noticed is a lot of the players that are out of packs are doing really well so these cards go out of packs tomorrow i think that a lot of these cards will actually rebound even with 
the crazy you know promo pack and stuff we have i think a lot of these cards are going to do well because i think no matter what even with the craziness of black friday and all of this going on i still think people are going to be very inclined to want to gamble on these items i don't see why they wouldn't be so i think if you're a person watching this video you want to make some coins You've got a lot of safe options. You really can't go wrong with almost anyone in this team. I think they all can go up and spike. You just have to play it around um, game times and figure out, you know, who's playing when. Um, and so, yeah. So, another thing I want to talk about, obviously, the hero pack that we had today. But, uh, yeah. So, in terms of the heroes, let's see what happened to these cards on the market today. So, JJ went over a mil. People were waiting for the guarantee. They did not pack him. He's up like 100k. This happens every single time. Yaya Toure's up a ton. Um... Brolin is up quite a bit. Uh, Marquezio is up like 100k. Smallerek is up a bit. Uh, so these cards did really well. A lot of people obviously didn't pack the ones that they wanted. And uh, the ones that are very good went up even more. The packway overall today did not look very good. I believe that the Marvel heroes go out of packs on Friday. But maybe they go out of packs tomorrow. I don't know. It says that Path to Glory goes out of packs tomorrow. So that's kind of why I feel like if you want to do a club stock and just pick up some of the discard ones, I don't see why you wouldn't. Uh, just with how safe they are and how like low risk of a gamble it's been. Now, what's been crazy today is that 88s went up so high and everything else went down. And the reason for it is that the way that EA are doing SBCs today uh, today and, and recently, like it's an 86 squad. But you have to put 388 overall higher players. Once you put those players in, you only need 85s, 84s, 83s. So basically like 87s just tanked today. Um, I had some fodder on my transfer list, but all this stuff went down a ton. And it's like one of those weird, one, weird ones because... I feel like it's going to go lower with all the Black Friday supply um, that we're about to get. So I've got to be a little bit careful here. Um, yeah, I'm just, I, I've am just i got to be a bit careful here because I do have some fodder now that I've accumulated in my account that's tradable. And a lot of them are 87s, and I kind of feel like they're going to go lower. I think, though, you know, overall, I'm probably just going to sit on the fodder that I have because I do think there's going to be a lot of SPCs that come out via Black Friday, and I'm going to want to do a lot of the SPCs. So I just want to make sure that my club is stocked. I'm aware that most likely you'll probably see some 84s and players like that probably going down just with pure supply. Uh, but we will see. We will see. And so, yeah, guys, that's it. I don't really want to talk too much tonight. I've already talked a lot, but it's going to be crazy. Um, the stream, we'll have a long stream on Friday. Up until that, though, I'm not sure what we're going to have. I don't know about, like, other streams. We'll have a long stream on Friday, though, for sure. Um, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, so I'm going to be celebrating that, but we will have videos going up for sure. And, uh, if anything crazy happens, I'll probably end up streaming a little bit, but I don't think so. So thanks for watching the video guys. I appreciate it. If you want to check out the Marvel heroes video down below, you guys can do that too. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.